Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. As you know, I have left YouTube, officially left YouTube, but I did promise a lot of my viewers that I would do what I got for Christmas. As you can see, I am sat on my bed. I don't have a table anymore. I don't have a backdrop anymore. It's just me in my bedroom, probably at my comfiest. So guys, I'm going to do what I got for Christmas for 2020. I got quite a lot, so don't think that I'm doing this video to brag in any way, shape or form. Um, I think my family have just thought that I needed a bit of more pick me up this year. I don't know. Um, I seem to have more than I usually have, or it might be just that I got more things that I actually asked for this year than normal. So I'm sorry if my camera's wobbling, it's cause it's leaning on the bed. You can tell I'm a little bit rusty. So guys, Let's get straight into the video. I've got a lot to show you. Um, it's a mixture of Disney and Killstar mixed with some other little bits and pieces. I do have two things that have not arrived in time, but I will tell you what they are uh, and I'll slip a picture up for them too. So let's get straight into it. First things first, off my lovely sister-in-law and brother-in-law and my niece and nephew, which is my husband's um, sister they bought me this beautiful gin with the Christmas scene on as you can see there's gold flakes in there and I just thought this was beautiful in itself this is from Marks and Spencers it's a clementine gin liqueur and then I seen the light snow globe and I was like hmm and I looked underneath voila and I was like I ain't gonna open this it's just it's just too goddamn pretty to open I absolutely love this don't know what it tastes like I will taste it chances are I may refill this back up and find some gold um, snowflakes whatever or glitter and put it back in and we'll continue to use this as a snow globe I absolutely love it I have no idea of the price I just think it's it's pretty goddamn awesome I love gin my sister-in-law loves gin as well so I think it's something we both would appreciate it. And my mother-in-law as well, she loves gin. So I love that. So thank you, Stephanie and Luke, for that. I don't know who has got everything, but I'll, I'll have a rough idea of who's got what. So that was my first alcohol item, guys. I actually have a bottle of Prosecco as well, which is still in the cupboard. I forgot to get that. Um, I got that for my mother-in-law and father-in-law. It's a really nice Prosecco as well. Um, I've not opened any alcohol as of yet because I am on a lot of medications, including antibiotics, so I can't really drink, but I may have a drink tonight. Now, my husband bought me my favourite gin, which is Tarquin's. I have had this in four days. Um, I've had it in strawberry and lime. I bought this for my younger sister for her birthday. Um, I don't know if she liked it or not. She didn't say. It's a Devon liqueur, so if you're wondering where it's made, it's from Devon, so it's a Cornish crafting gin and it's absolutely beautiful with lemonade and ice and um, sometimes we do mix something else with it so all in all guys i got four bottles i got a bottle of baileys as well but that's um again in the cupboard i didn't grab everything uh, moving on to things that i had some money from family members i don't know all but my aunties give me money my uncles give me money and these are the things that i bought along the way so i bought this bat holder I just think it's absolutely amazing. I have got a little bit of makeup on it because it's it's flat out. But I just, I just put my rings in there, some of my rings. I just think it's beautiful. It's very unique. Um, it was $14.99. And it's going to be a long video, so if you want to pause, get yourself tea, coffee, liqueur, whatever you want to get, please do so. <coughs> Don't worry if I'm coughing. It's not because I've got COVID. I just got real dry throat today. It's been a long day, guys. Uh, we've not had much sleep, me and my husband, so we are pretty goddamn knackered. Right, so from my husband, he bought me these boots, which were from ASOS. I do remember saying I wanted them. They're from Truffle. I do like Truffle shoes. I've actually disposed of the box because <coughs> my husband is going to be displaying all my shoes when we move. So I've just been buying these big storage boxes and been putting all my shoes in there, apart from like my Killstar shoes or any of my iron fish shoes i keep all the boxes for them but anything like truffle i get rid of the boxes but these are these square tall chunky boots i got size seven i have tried them on i do think they're comfortable i haven't worn them out 
but I do like them. Now, I do love chunky boots. I like boots in general. I like chunky shoes, anything like that. Some people don't particularly like them. Um, I think these were varying around the price of £25, guys. Don't quote me on that. They could have been a little bit more. I don't know if they're still on the website. My husband bought these way, way back, maybe in October. So they've been here for a while. So that is them, guys. It's my first pair of shoes. I have had one pair and I've been wearing them for a couple of weeks. So I got these a week before Christmas. I have worn them out. They have got a little bit of but markings on it nothing that a cloth cat wipe or a wipe so i got the kill star high tops guys um i forgot what they're called now i have got the box somewhere got a little bit of mud on there these have the the pentagram on the tongue and they they look quite high guys but they're actually not that high when they're on if that makes sense i'm not too high up in the sky like my other boots from kill star these are so so comfy i am getting the lunar ones for my birthday which is february so um i think that will be it for my kill star shoes for the for, for the next couple of years i've got a lot of kill star shoes that i don't really have enough months in a year to wear them but these are probably my all-time comfortable these are size eight guys i've gotten bigger so i could wear my um socks i have got socks for christmas but i've worn them they're the jeep socks i got them in um, a pack of three purple they were eight pound um these are off my dad and these are asos design shoes they had these in a green and they had them in a black i do have the boots to these that i got last oh maybe about three months ago actually guys so i seen these in the green i seen them in the red i would have quite have had them in the green as well and um, they weren't that expensive to be honest with you guys this was 24.99 um my dad gave me money for christmas so i pretty much bought my own thing i did get a lot of the um Tiffany, not Tiffany, what am I on about? Whitford and Cole candles as something to open. So I was, I was quite happy with that. But I got these shoes as well. I've got a size, I might have got a size eight in these guys. No, a size seven. I haven't tried these on yet. As you can see, the tissue's still on. They came in a, a bag rather than a box. So no box came with them. Not that I'm really bothered. I usually like to keep the boxes, but because I've got no space now, I have been putting them in these storage boxes. Um, I will wear these without a doubt, but at the minute, my Killstar High Tops seem to be my favourite comfortable shoes. I have got so many boots and footwear, guys. It's unbelievable. If you look in that wardrobe there, you, you just see a display of all my Lamoda and Killstar and New Rocks and Doc Martens. And, yeah, I just like my shoes. So I got them, guys. Um, these would probably look really, really nice with a pair of black skinny jeans, um, probably a nice long skirt. I don't know, I just like the aesthetic of them and bought them. I'm just one of these people who sometimes just buy shoes just because the way they look, not necessarily for the comfort. Moving on, I'll get some of this stuff done in a minute. Um, this had my cardigan in. Um, I'm just going to move that out of the way because I do like that box. I'm going to keep it. Now, my mother-in-law and father-in-law bought me the Jack Skeleton Nightmare Before Christmas cardigan from the Disney, it was from EMP very very pricey these guys i will admit um i got an xxl as you can see it's got the disney sticker on i think it was fair and 46 pound it's a very very heavy piece at first i thought it may be um where you could turn it inside out but you can't as you can see there but it's got a nice gray jack skeleton look on the inside with jack in and his symbol and so forth and on the outside is the opposite two colors so you've got the black and gray on the outside and you've got the gray and black on the inside very very warm very thick worth the money i i think so it doesn't have any fastenings guys so there's no buttons or anything like that it just sits as a long long cardigan now i remember jane wilkes were telling me about something now i had on i can't remember what it was in one of my outfits of the week and she said a really nice long cardigan would look good with that and i totally agree and i think now i've got this i may be able to dress this up with a few things so that was for my mother-in-law and father-in-law absolutely love it i have pretty much got a lot of jack skeleton this year some people might think that's too much i don't care that's my thing what i get is up to me it's not up to anybody else if people don't like it don't watch it simple so then i got this blanket off my um grandma which is ben's grandma 
um as you know we lost granddad this year and we didn't actually expect to have anything from grandma you know with what how she is and stuff but funny enough she did give us all money and with that money i bought this blanket from the disney store and it came wrapped like this um it was 30 pound guys but there was a deal on it was a, a special offer on i think i got it for 25 it's so soft it's quite a big blanket guys so as you can see it's been folded four times already and it's got the pattern of all the characters from nightmare before christmas the little brats are in there i got that guys because I like to keep warm. I do like to buy a blanket nearly every year. My purple blanket's been my go-to, but this will probably take its place. With that, I also got the cushion, which was £18. I think I got this for £15. Uh, it's reversible, so you've got the angry jack. Then you've got happy jack. This, again, is so soft and squishy. Um, I have a thing for cushions. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I don't know if it's a sensory thing. I don't know. I find it very therapeutic to have something to cuddle, which is why I got some Squishmallows when they came out that time. But I absolutely love this cushion. I've been after it for ages and I'm so happy I got it. So that matches the blanket. It goes on my bed with my school bedding. So I'm happy with that. Um, with that, so that was bought off Ben's grandma. I have got something else from ben's grandma but when i get to it we'll discuss that um off ben my husband i got this glow in the dark um cushion from killstar these are all sold out now but i've had that he bought this a long time ago when it first come out i think i can't remember the, the price it was some 18 pound or something but it does glow in the dark i don't think i can show you but you can tell by the material at the front it's a shiny material that it does glow in the dark um it is squishy, but it's not as squishy as my um, Nightmare Before Christmas. But nevertheless, I do still love it. Um, with my money off my dad, I also bought this dude, which is a creature. Um, what is it called, this one? Let's see. Did it say? Cute as hell. Creatures. Oh, it just says Grim Reaper. Your time is over. So this must be the Grim Reaper. I did try to get the bat 666 <coughs> and I also tried to get the I think it was the Baphomet the purple one the 666 range you can't get your hands on it and it's ridiculous people selling them on eBay for crazy prices but I grabbed this as soon as it dropped and I'm so glad so it's like an octopus with the the Grim Reaper skeleton skull and then the hood goes on. The material is so mega soft for this, guys. It is lovely. My husband doesn't overly like the creatures, but he's got a little ghost on there. But he did say I, he did like this one. It was it was probably the only one that he can say was pretty decent for me to collect anyway. I don't really collect the creatures. I do buy them for Zach, but um, I did want one for myself. And I just thought, this dude's me. It's, it's black and white and it's a skull. Um, I can't remember the price of it, guys. But he sits happily on my bed with my Jack Skell and my glow-in-the-dark cushion. My husband hates anything like that. Um, as well as that, guys, I will move on to what I've got here. Now, as you know, I did get the two bags from Killstar. They were actually a part of my Christmas present, so I was given the money. Everything that I got money-wise, this is what I spent. So, as you've, you've seen this in the previous video, so I got the... The, it was buy one get one free so I got this one and then I got the um, Astro map the map bag here with the moon on it I got that one which I'm actually using at the minute it's a really good bag it's a sturdy bag I like it so I was happy about that um, moving on to my clothing this is off my mum and my stepdad um, I asked her to so she picked these from EMP and sent them to me directly so I was really really tough so I picked this t-shirt here, which it says the Pumpkin King. Uh, I got this because it's got the stripes on the arms and it was quite long as well. Longer at the back than it is at the front. And I do like t-shirts that are longer at the back than the front. It has the Nightmare Before Christmas label on there, the Tim Burton's. I got it in XXL. I think this one was around about £18. Might be a little bit more. But I grabbed that one. I just thought I like that t-shirt. I do own four, four Jack Skeleton t-shirts. I probably will own a hell of a lot more. 
don't know what that lady's doing outside, but she's very distracting. Um, so I grabbed that, but my mum also picked me up the matching leggings, which is right at the bottom of this clothes pile. My mum grabbed me these leggings. I hope you all can see, because I don't know where my camera's situated. So these are the Nightmare Before Christmas leggings. Obviously one is striped, one is plain, which is why I picked that t-shirt, because it has the striped sleeves. And I just thought it'd go nice together. I live in leggings, guys. If you don't live in leggings, I live in jammers. It's comfortable for my back. It's just comfortable for my legs. It's just comfortable for my stomach. Um, I don't like jeans. I try not to buy trousers that are too tight around the stomach or jeans or anything like that. So if you see a lot of leggings, it's because I prefer to wear leggings. It's just my preference. Not everybody's the same. I like the fact that they're elasticated and they're loose. And I just, I love that. I just love that feeling, that nice, not being too restricted. So I got them guys, I think they were something like £26 or something. They don't have the price on them, but as you can see, it has the EMP on there and I've still got the labels on because I literally opened these at midnight last night. So there you go. So that's that. So that was off my mum and my stepdad. So that's what I got. And then from my mum and stepdad, I might as well grab it because it's here. I also got the Nightmare Before Christmas watch absolutely chuffed to bits with this chuffed 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 um there was a disaster with this my mum ordered it the first time um and it never arrived and it, it took me to fight emp and dhl to get my mum a refund um and my mum got a refund i she sent me the money again and i bought it from the uk emp it came to me within four days my mum got a refund then about three days after and then my mum gave me the refund which you shouldn't have done, and a little bit more into my bank to get some extra things, which is what we'll be coming to in a minute. But she got me this watch. Um, I've been wanting this watch for the longest time, and I don't necessarily wear watches as a rule because I'm allergic to pewter, and most of the time watches do like start to irritate my wrist. But we'll see how this one goes. It's got the tab in, so it's not been taken out. But if you pull the bottom here, and then it has Jack and Sally, it's all covered, so if I pull all that film off and pull this off, as you can see, it's so pretty. I just absolutely love it. And then the strap, let me just see if I can, see if I can pull it out. And the strap is just like a, like a black tone. It started off at $39.99 and then it went down to $32.99. Um, my mum paid full price at first, which was £40. So my mum got a refund of £45. She put £56 back into my account. Um, but then when I bought it the second time, I paid £32. I also picked up some things for Ben for Christmas and I got free delivery. So that wasn't too bad. And like I said, it came within a couple of days. It's in the, a really nice display box. So that was off my mum and stepdad. I also got off my mum and stepdad the nightmare before christmas suitcase as well because this is what she gave me the money for this was 23 pound guys i haven't featured it in a natural video but i did do a video on instagram now a lot of people complain about this suitcase for having too many scratches it does have a lot of scratches guys i will admit i am still wary if there's a film on top but i can't see i can't see a film being on top to be honest with you and this bit's all right you just got a bit sticky there but for 23 pound guys i was really really happy with it it's got quite a good space inside if i just open it up so inside you've got this part for your clothing and then if you want it this you've got all this space inside and then it compacts together it's not extendable like some suitcases are but it's big enough for what i want so I was quite happy with that. And then the handle comes all the way up. So this was £46, guys. I died, I had to change the battery. So it's gonna be a very long video. I'll try and speed it up. Okay, so this is with the money that my mum put into my account. I grabbed these. First, I grabbed the Killstar Aquarius top because that's who I am. It's got a skull in it and I thought, perfect. Um, it's a nice loungy one. I do like Killstar lounge t-shirts. I find them very, very comfortable. I actually have bought, um, with my Christmas money, a black Killstar top. You've probably seen it. If I can get if I can get to it, I'll get to it. Um, it's a cold shoulder top. Absolutely love it. In fact, I'll go and grab it now so you can see. But yeah, I grabbed that one. 
um i think it was round about eight pound or something it was really really reasonably priced because i think they had that sale on again i also grabbed these trousers so these are the the kind of bondage style leggings trousers but they've got the baphomet pentagram pentacle inside and it's like a really shiny kind of leathery fake leather feel on the knees these look amazing these clip off by the way guys so you if you don't want them on you can take them off you can also put some chain accessories on there i do have a lot of chain accessories worth every penny and i'll i've never really bothered getting a lot of kill style leggings i've only owned like maybe two or three pairs so i thought let's just grab a few pairs of leggings because comfort is key for me I grabbed these ones as well guys um these are the two face witch leggings let me just see what the name of this one was because i didn't actually look um watch me burn leggings these ones are guys um i got an xxl obviously because i like to have them a little bit bigger these are the two face witch leggings so you've got the gray side here then you've got the black side here the black is plain there's nothing on it and the gray obviously has this design on it which i absolutely love these look really comfortable this is like a almost like a velvety feel it's not velvet but it feels softer than this side if that makes sense so it's like two different materials joined into one absolutely love these i think i will probably buy some more kill style leggings after christmas just for the comfort i'm not, I'm not really into the trousers too much but i did grab some trousers so the next pair of trousers so my dad got me these these again are kill style but i got these from kate's clothing um i also got a free mask with this as well which is downstairs guys mask was massive on there i had to cut it and tighten it it's all right but it it's a little bit too too close to my nose and i get a bit panicky when i can't breathe through it but i got these guys i can't remember how much they were these are the two faced trousers in tartan they had two styles of these they had a complete tartan and they had these i like these because it was like a split so you've got your black on one side and you've got your tartan on the other with this little this is hell oh this is hell it says on there it, you can't really tell then because it looked like it was all one letter then they've got these little here so you can actually attach like what's on them leggings to there it says some people look for a spooky place others make a place spooky and that's that one so i got an xxl in these guys they are very very stretchy and very giving they might be a little bit too big for me guys but i'd rather be too big and too small and they've also got these um little tags so i can't actually wear a belt with these trousers if need be it'd have to be a very very thin belt to be honest to get in that side but we'll see they may be all right but they're very very stretchy guys try-ons i haven't got time to do try-ons guys today i may just try them on and do some pictures and add them to the video but i do absolutely love these i was so happy i got these i think they sold out now on killstar um so when i went over to kate's clothing and she had them i can't remember the price guys so that was that guys so that is my clothing i do have the top which i'll probably try and get in a minute i also got off my mum and stepdad just some hat and gloves and some bed socks um pep and co nice and cheerful just a little bit of a, a wrap up presents from my mum so i got them as well I also got this beautiful fleece grey nightgown off sack for Christmas um, from Amazon but unfortunately there is a big hole in it so Ben is going to contact him now and see if he can get his money back or see if I can get a replacement because my mother-in-law can stitch that but that's what I got off sack for Christmas as well guys um, off my daughter my eldest daughter Chloe she bought me this um, beautiful beauty college and um, she's got this from tk maxx i can tell by the label and it has fizzy lemonade foot lotion i don't know if people are trying to say something about my feet because i've got lots of foot things this year i do like to keep my feet nice and like pretty and looked after probably more than my hands to be honest 
and then there is love yourself indulge your body and senses with this fun delicious fragrance and it's a foot soap crystal and a beautiful pair of slippers i know they're pink but i've just watched jane wilkes um diy her slippers so i could do that with these even though they're pink i could still do it i don't care about slippers to be honest with you as long as they're warm and they're comfortable i do have sketches slippers that i wear but I am wearing them to the ground. So it'd be nice to have a bit of a change, to be honest with you guys. So she bought me this. So this is my son-in-law and my daughter. Um, she told me it was being delivered by DPD. She actually delivered it in person. It was a shock because I've never met my granddaughter. She was born in January. So um, yeah, it was, it was probably one of my best presents. So she got me that, God bless her. She also bought me some chocolates. Um, which I have put into these, which were the salted caramel. So I got a box of them, but I also got a box of Lint Lidor, Lint Lindor off my husband as well. So I just threw them in there. I Lint's my favorite chocolate, if you're wondering. It's my ultimate favorite chocolate. It's my go-to chocolate. If there was any chocolate I'd want before anything else, it'd be Lint chocolate. So I have two boxes inside there. Um, I also got this, true aroma luxury scented candles i got this from my stepmom which is my brother and sister's mom um she knows me all too well that i absolutely love candles especially votive candles i used to collect yankee so i've never heard of these before i think these were from either little or aldi i have seen them so i got that off my stepmom she also bought me another one of these i had a big one last year and Zach broke it this year and I was a little bit miffed off about it. But she's bought me another one, just a smaller version of it. And it is just little mini penguins inside because I love penguins. They know that I adore penguins. He's not going to break this one. I'll make sure that it's in a safe place this time. So she bought us that as well. And she also bought me this magnetic Myomare brush set. I've got to tell you that this is extremely heavy. I was like, what is this? Um, and it just has magnetic brushes. So they all stand up to the magnetic plaque, um, which is amazing. I wonder if all my brushes could stick to it like that. I just stick them all on there. I do like my makeup brushes. These look really, really nice and soft. It's a seven piece set. They've got an eyelash, eyeshadow brush, blending brush, foundation brush, blush brush, powder brush, six quality magnetic brushes so that was off my stepmom pam absolutely love that so i'll put that there i've also got a present off my brother i'm going to switch you off guys i'm going to go and grab them two things and then i'll be back in a jiffy okay guys so this was the t-shirt i got with the high tops with my christmas money from killstar it's a cold shoulder t-shirt and it's distressed so it's got little holes in it here there and everywhere at the front and it's just this weird looking skull with two lots of eyes and a pentacle pentagram on the head i absolutely love this it's quite a nice long top so it works for me so that also was for christmas of my brother he bought me the um Anne stokes chalice i have a couple of these i've got the jack skeleton and i've got a nemesis one <clears throat> so he bought me the arachnopharia one i'm not sure he knew that i have the statue of it and i have the clock of it and i absolutely love this i got the t-shirt of it as well it's one of my favorites black and red aesthetic so he bought me that for christmas absolutely love it <coughs> cherish it so that was off my brother and ben off my brother got this one which is the alatar and it's the skull <laughs> but i absolutely love it I love it too <laughs> but my brother knows me and my husband very very well so yeah so that was what Ben got off my brother um off my sister my younger sister Mel um was this gift box and I was like I know it's jewelry um but when I opened it I was like wow just wow it's like my brother and sister know me way too well let me just see if I can get it to stay there so she got me this necklace and earring set and it's like bats with skulls and crosses. My three aesthetics of goth that I love. So 
So it's got a bat on it, it's got a skull on it, and it's got a cross on it. Beautiful. She has told me that this is proper ser uh, sterling. Sterling silver. It's got these little crystal gems inside it all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know where she got this from, but it is stunning. Stunning. And it has got black onyx um, in the wings as well. So the necklace has got the wings, the earrings is just the skull. But how beautiful, guys. I just thought that was my... It's just me. It's me in a box and the box is beautiful as well. So that was off my younger sister. So my brother and sister have done really, really well because they've just... They just know who what I like. Everybody seems to know exactly what I like. Now, off Ben's grandma as well, I also got this Jack Skeleton and Zero statue, which again was from the Disney store when I got my blanket and the cushion. This came to £7, but obviously it came a little bit cheaper. So I think altogether, I think it altogether came to £46, which was really, really good because that blanket on its own was 30 and then you had that was 18 30 to 48 We got it a lot cheaper than what it should have been. So the Zero Glows in the Dark fluorescent as well. I probably won't take this out of the pack, guys, to be honest with you. I'll probably just put it with the rest of my Jack Skeleton things up there. Um, but I absolutely love it. So that was off Ben's grandma. Speeding it up now. Um... Off my husband, I got these Yoda. I've not worn them. They feel very, 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 very soft. But these were from Amazon and they were £11. And I got told they was cheaper in Primark. But too late. I'd already, I'd already got them for Christmas by that point. My um, best friend Gemma also got me this Nightmare for Christmas official 2021 desk calendar. Again, she knows me too well. She knows exactly the things I like. I've... Got the actual 2021 calendar, which is on my wall at the minute, which is not the same. It's different. This stands up, guys, so I can stand it up at my desk like so and have it on the month of the year. I just think that it was amazing. I don't know where she's got that from, but I absolutely love it. So that was from Gemma and Stu, Alex and Sophie and Toby the doggy. So I absolutely love that. She also bought me a hot chocolate salted caramel flavour bomb. So it's one of them bombs you stick in your cup, you pour the hot milk on it and then voila! I can't have hot milk as such because I've got lactose intolerance, but I probably will put half hot milk and the rest hot water. But it says, baby, it's cold outside. Love it, love it, love it. It's a nice little petite cup, a little latte cup. I love that. So that again was off Gemma and Stu and the kids. And she also bought me a Sanctuary Spa set. I love Sanctuary Spa. So she got me the body wash. Um, I think they're all body washes. Yeah, they're all body washes, which is a little set. She also got me a rose bath bomb. She knows I love rose. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely lovely. I got these for my youngest daughter. I got her loads of these. I can't remember if she's got a bath or not, but yeah. So that was off my best friend Gemma and Stu. Off my mother-in-law as well, I got these um, FlexiFit anti-chaffing body smoothing shorts. Summertime, I don't like to wear my, my skirts because I get the, what they call chub rub in between your thighs and it really does gripe me. My mother-in-law did buy me some thigh things, but they never really worked for me. So she's bought me these ones, which are a full body and they're a body smoothing short as well, which is absolutely amazing. There's two pairs in here. These were from Marks and Spencers and she paid £8, which she said it doesn't come off, it's stuck on there. So that was for my mother-in-law and father-in-law. I also got the Prosecco as well for my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Um, so, and then she bought me this Avon Gel Shine nail varnish. This one is, um, free from animal testing and it's black as my soul she knows me too well that that's the kind of colors I will have and she also knows that I like to look after my feet so she bought me this footworks intense moisture cream but she bought me these which are absolutely amazing so you put your cream on and you put these on your feet and they they're supposed to just like melt into your feet it's like a latex it's really weird never tried them before um i don't quite know how they work but i think they just go into your foot and then into your heel like so 
oh wow they feel really weird but actually quite nice and then obviously your cream will just soak into your heel they are amazing don't know where she got them from but i like them probably avon or something so i absolutely love them yeah it was avon <laughs> so that was that of my mother-in-law and father-in-law and then she also bought me both of them bought me this sleep um it's a sleep apoth apothecary can I ever say that word i do suffer with um really bad sleep um situation i don't sleep very well i do usually use this works um i find that one works better for me than that feathering down stuff um feathering down crap I, doesn't work for me at all that and it's just pretty more expensive this works works really works and i think it works for zach as well but this one is the sleep spray i think there's a fragrance lavender hand and body lotion a hand cream a body wash and a scented candle i'm going to try this on sack because he's not sleeping very well hopefully it may knock him out if you got this from marks and spencers i love it i will be trying that thank you very very much i like gifts like that my husband also got me a patch which is the ac dc patch as you know my husband got me that cushion my husband actually bought me some jewelry for christmas as well i will do this in a separate video guys but just to show you not one two three four five six seven there's actually eight gags so eight pouches from scarlet in chains we'll do them in a different video guys because i said i do that video for him and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I got three pot vinyls. Two of them's not arrived. I got the Yoda with the gumball machine, which is actually the from the, if you've not seen Mandalorian and you've not seen that episode, you probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about, but it's where he was taking the baby eggs out of the thing and popping him in his mouth like a naughty little baby. It was, it was cute and it was funny and with the money that I had left, I grabbed that one, which was $24.99 from Pop in a Box. It's actually pre-ordered, pre so it's not gonna get here until next week. I also ordered the Mandalorian, that's got the baby, which is flying in the air, absolutely love. And then I got Cara Dune, which is the character, which is like the sheriff from the Mandalorian. I do want to complete the Mandalorian set. That is my aim, as well as completing my Jack Skeleton set. That's what I'm going to concentrate in 2021. For me, it won't be on my channel, but that's what I'll be doing and I'll put it on Instagram. So that completes everything that I got. That was my 2020, what I got for Christmas, guys. I know it's a very long video. Didn't really expect to get this much stuff. Also, I've not included the Scarlet and Chains. I will do that in a separate video. So if you want to see that, Go on to the next video and that will be there for you guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Is there going to be a next one? Of course there will. Scarlet and Chains. That may be my last video. Take care guys and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.